So in this YouTube video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can meal prep a fat loss sort of approach within 20 minutes. I promise I'm gonna show you the timer and I'm not gonna pause it. I'm also gonna give you three top tier meal prep uh, things that I like to focus on because you're probably meal prepping wrong because you think it takes more than an hour or two when you can do things really quickly depending on the food choices. And this is gonna hit my targets and my goals. I don't have any sort of fancy tools. I just have this rice cooker and a stove top. So let's jump into it. Give me one sec. Okay, so it's, it's 12.26. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do egg whites. Um, this is gonna be like meal one. Okay, I am, just quick note, I am weighing out food right now. I'm a firm believer, that's what I help with a lot of my clients, is if you have a certain goal, you're trying to put on muscle, you're trying to lose fat, track the macros for a bit, and then you can switch to intuitive eating. And intuitive eating is kind of like eating what you think is healthy or this protein, whatever, but right now we're tracking stuff, so. <laughs> I got an eggshell. <laughs> and by the way, I have everything set out, so it's a little bit faster. I don't have to grab anything. Okay. Woo! Put these guys in there like that. There's that eggshell. Oh, shoot. Don't do that at home, kids. Okay, so egg whites are cooking. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I have two chopping boards. I'm gonna use one for raw, and one for other shit. Okay, so we're gonna grab some chicken breast. Chicken breast, I like uh, lately, We've been chopping it, uh, chopping it up because it cooks a little bit faster. So if you just cook it by the breast, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So as you can see, I'm chopping this up right now into small little bite pieces, almost like popcorn style chicken. I'm trying not to cut my finger off. As you can see that I'm not weighing out raw chicken. I'm just gonna cook a bunch. So here's the first kind of tip. What you can do is you can focus on having like meals First thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a lot of stuff at the store, like tools. For example, you're gonna get <clears throat> air fryers. You're gonna use a barbecue at the same time, oven. So there's a lot of like multitasking, but it will save you a lot of time. Okay, 16 minutes. You might be thinking, yikes, but check this out. So here's egg yolks, egg whites, salt and pepper like this, done. Now you're gonna break up the egg yolks. This is what Sammy, my fiance, was showing me. Use a fork because I'm deadly like that. When you don't fully cook the egg yolks, it saves you a little bit on like, the nutrients are a little bit better for you. Apparently that's what she's telling me. And it actually tastes a lot better too. So you allow the egg whites to cook, then you break up the egg yolks. So that's pretty much almost done. Low heat, there we go. Looks kind of boring, but give me a second here. With two strips of turkey bacon or ham, we're in Mexico right now, it's called pavón. So I'm gonna chop this up. I know that this is already 40 grams. So give me a sec. Cool. Throw that into the eggs. Bada boom, bada bing. It's meal one, done. Okay, now it's gonna time to cook the chicken. So we chop it up, throw it in there. Again, it's not frozen, which is good. I'm using my secret spicy sauce. I could probably leave it in the comments for you guys. But I'm gonna throw that on top just a little bit. Okay, so now the chicken's going. Now we're gonna use this Instapot, three cups of rice. One, two, three. Done. Okay, so rice is now being cooked. Did three cups of rice, three and a half cups of water. Meal one is kind of done. We're working on meal two. I have also some snacks, so I'm gonna focus on that. So give me a sec. Time, 10 minutes, 48 seconds. <laughs> Yikes! Next meal. So honestly, weigh out four, I'm saying it's 50 grams I measured. Chicken's almost done. So it just I pretty much cut it in half and just see if it's pink. If it's not pink, go for it. Eat. Again, I put a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of honey on there with some spice, it's really good. Now I have the oats cooking up, 50 grams of oats and some water. And we're gonna throw in some milk and some secret ingredients I'm gonna show you as well. That's gonna be really good. Okay, now the next meal I'm gonna get ready here is more of just like a salad based. Um, so it's pre-chopped veggies, which is really good. And then some flank steak on top. The flank steak is really thin. It won't take long to cook. So I'm gonna cook it on the oven top as well. There's eight minutes left. 12.38, eight minutes. Now we gotta cook some steak. Again, look what I'm saying. 
It is a little bit lower. It's a flank steak, so it's lower in fat. Won't cook. Uh, won't take long to cook. Now the rice is being cooked, so I'm gonna put some chicken on here. Weigh it out later, but chicken's good to go. Oats are doing good, coming along. So here's another tip. Cook things in bulk, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you wanna eat chicken, you can eat chicken in multiple ways. Chicken doesn't mean bad. You can eat chicken in a, a salad, a chicken wrap, a chicken bowl, plain ass chicken if you want, it's all good. With the chicken, we're gonna have a little bit of avocado. Cut that in half. The rice should be done almost soon here. Don't need to cut it. Throw it onto the plate. Scoop it out like that. Bada boom, bada bang. You guys, we're getting pretty close, but we got four minutes left. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab um, some milk for a protein shake. Now I am weighing out things, but I know exactly at the line here what it's supposed to be. Scoop of isolate, thebum, isolate, just like that. Done. Chop up some steak, just like that. Perfect. Oh, two minutes, 12.44, blend this sucker up. Everything's done off the stove, so now it's just trying to get all this stuff ready, good to go. Quick tip, always make sure that you have a, 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 a sink full of water and soap, just dump stuff in there. If you do have time, clean it up. Here's the shake. Hey, also, we got three meals done. A little bit more here. We got, <laughs> hold on, 16 seconds. No sugar syrup, don't even need to count that. Put that on like this, done. Now keep in mind, cleaning the dishes is gonna take a while too, but essentially that's why you wanna kind of bulk cook items like chicken, for example, whatever. Okay. Hold on. Okay, that's 20 minutes. Now it's 12.46, so give me two minutes. I'm gonna put on some low sugar syrup, um, chocolate chips, just like that. Okay, a little bit of salt to help with the pump, just like that. Okay, so really quick, this is the last things I have. This is, this is it's 1247 right now, but 200 grams of Greek yogurt, a little bit of uh, low sugar syrup on top, just for taste. My fiance ate all the granola, she eats it by hand in the middle of the night, so that's all gone. Now with a little bit of frozen blueberries, just like that, with a protein bar. It's the fastest. Now, hear me out. Finish it off, got some uh, low, low calories um, dressing and then low calorie ketchup because everything I'm gonna cut right now. So try to keep a little bit more mindful of the calories, put that on the eggs. <laughs> All right, it's 12.49, done. So we got the pre-workout meal, oats, low sugar chocolate chips with a protein shake, protein bar. Um, that's the pre-workout meal, snacks, protein shake, protein bar. The Greek yogurt bowl, frozen blueberries, low sugar syrup, steak and salad, chicken, rice, avocado, keep it nice and clean. Now, if I really wanted to keep it fast, I could swap out the rice for, let's say, tortilla wraps uh, and then some eggs and ham. So, so everything's gonna be listed with the calories and macros down below. And that's that, man. So that took a little bit longer than 20 minutes, but again, there's dishes to clean. Just my top tip right here, I think I went through two. <laughs> it's a bit of a rush, but this is what I would bulk cook. I would bulk cook flank steak, rice and chicken and then have it already pre-made so i just have to put it together and then just bulk cook foods for like three days so anyways i got a lot of steps in time to eat this all in one sitting see you later